Well, I'm in front of this uh, Chinese supermarket. Uh, let's go inside and check out some of the uh, different products in there. Uh, some products will help you uh, improve your cooking, the taste, and also uh, you get different uh, things to help you uh, make things easier when you cook. This is my favorite uh, sauce, oyster flavor sauce. I've been eating oyster flavor sauce for a long time. Sometimes just for dipping, or you can use it for stir fry, or for steaming dishes. So there's a lot of different uses for it. Brings a lot of flavor. Here we have a good selection of uh, sauces. Here we have the uh, soy sauce here, and whatever kind of sauces you need, uh, they usually keep in one section. So a lot of times you're making the uh, uh, pig feet, you can use the black vinegar. So this is the brand we always use. So any recipes uh, for black vinegar, sometimes you use it for even uh, toss uh, Chinese noodles, or use it in. Uh, as a dipping sauce, so many different uses for this uh, black vinegar. So here you have a good selection of Lee Kum Kee sauces. You have plum sauce, which you can use as a dipping sauce or for making uh, sweet and sour. And you have uh, one of these sauces called Chu Ho Paste. Uh, Chu Ho Paste is a good sauce for making uh, Chinese beef stew and uh, spare ribs and different dishes. And here we have the uh, shrimp sauce. We used to call it shrimp paste. Some people call it shrimp paste, so you put it in uh, different dishes where you steam, a very traditional ingredient. So this is a black bean sauce, uh, black bean garlic sauce, so ideal for uh, a lot of steamed dishes like spare ribs or pork. Uh, you can use it uh, uh, a lot of different ways, so I'll be doing a lot of recipes uh, using this. So if you don't want to uh, mince your own garlic, you have them uh, already minced up in a jar. So you just uh, take a spoon and spoon it out when you make your stir fry or whatever dish that requires uh, garlic. This is for cheating up on your flavors for uh, soups and uh, stir fry when you don't have the uh, chicken broth or beef broth. You just take a, a little spoon of this uh, chicken soup base. This is ideal for uh, times when you want flavor, you don't have a lot of time to make the original uh, soup stock. This is uh, rock sugar. I like rock sugar. It's a uh, it's a cane sugar. It's ideal for making a, a red braised pork. Uh, it actually seems to thicken up the, uh, the pork with a thick uh, sugar sauce. So I really like using this kind of rock uh, sugar. So you see them, uh, these are fairly large uh, uh, pieces. So sometimes you call for uh, sugar, you put a, a few of these in there. And it brings a lot of flavor and also uh, seems to be more complex uh, sweetness. A lot of the regular sugar, it's just sweet, but the uh, uh, lump sugar, they call it rock sugar, uh, it has, uh, it's made from cane sugar, so it's complex uh, sweet flavor. So this is uh, cane sugar that come in slabs. So when you have uh, recipes that call for sugar, uh, this is cane sugar. It seems to give it a more complex sweet uh, taste. So there's different brands of uh, slab sugar. So sometimes you put a whole slab in, sometimes you cut it up into smaller pieces. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese Cooking Accessory Guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. Here we're at the stinky section of the store. So we have the uh, durian, which is the stinky fruit. A lot of uh, hotels actually ban people from taking the uh, durian into their hotel rooms. I've actually seen that. But if you like uh, durian, it has supposed to have a lot of taste. I had durian ice cream one time. It was okay. It wasn't something I really liked. But this uh, Chinese supermarket, uh, this Asian supermarket does have this uh, durian here in the store. This is wet bean cake. Uh, this is the one with the two guys on the package. Uh, this is one of my favorite brands. And I uh, use this for steamed pork and sometimes even for steamed chicken wings. A real tasty dish for chicken wings. You can put it in vegetables, like steamed vegetables, put some of this in there. Here they have some uh, dried, here they have some dried uh, salt prunes, or sometimes they're sweet. So I, I grew up on these. When I was young, I used to eat these. And sometimes my Caucasian friends would uh, eat it too. They don't know what it is, but they eat it. And uh, they come in packages here. Used to, uh, we used to just buy them loose. So these are the, uh, like, I think they're called lion head uh, mu uh, mushrooms. They look kind of hairy and funny, but they're really good for 
nutrients. So I, I came across the uh, background of these. So one day I'll be posting a video on this. These are the uh, Chinese herbal packs. So you can buy them already uh, uh, with ones that work together. So for different uh, remedies. So see this one is different. So you have to know what you're doing, but if you want to buy them in a set like this, you don't have to go buy them individually. So there's different ones here. So this one has the uh, monkey head. Monkey head is supposed to be good for you. So you have these uh, sort of a ladle when you want to scoop up veggies and uh, uh, anything you want to scoop up. This is a real handy uh, tool to have. So you have uh, bamboo steamers. Bamboo steamers are good for steaming dumplings and uh, different kind of foods. So here you have uh, beef tight, which is the uh, beef stomach. Good selection of beef stomach right here. So you get the beef stomach already cleaned up and a lot of time it's been partially boiled so that way when you make your dishes it takes a lot less time you have a good selection of uh, beef tendon uh, beef tendon takes a long time to cook so it's been cleaned up and cut up into pieces and uh, the cooking time will be decreased and then you have the uh, the flank steak here the flank beef which is a uh, uh, beef flank with uh, tendons you have the beef flank that's already been uh, pre-cooked so the, the beef flank still has the tendons in it, makes a real nice uh, beef stew. So when you buy it here, you get the nice selection. So when you have uh, meat that's been pre-cooked, including the tendons, then the cooking time for your dishes is a lot less. So pork belly is really good for making a uh, steamed pork with uh, saltfish. So just uh, cut up the pork belly into uh, bite-sized pieces. You can also use uh, ground pork, but uh, this is a real good combination. Pork belly with uh, Salt fish. A uh, croaker fish is a popular fish for making steamed pork with uh, salt fish. So they come in uh, packages sometimes, small size like this, and bigger ones. And there's different qualities. Uh, this is sort of a medium sized one. And there's some even larger, but this is a fairly large one. It's uh, $12.99. You can cut it into pieces or you can uh, actually uh, mince it up uh, or cut into small uh, pieces to put right in the uh, steamed pork. The, uh, preserved pork. This is a pork belly. You can use this for steaming rice with uh, preserved meats. So you also have the uh, boneless chicken legs that has been uh, uh, dried with uh, probably soy sauce and different condiments. So, uh, black chicken is really good for making soup. Uh, you can make it like a chi Chinese chicken herbal soup. Usually black chicken has twice the antioxidants of uh, regular chicken. Thanks for checking out my video. And be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can get the next new video. And thanks to my viewers for helping me win the top 20 best Chinese food blogs in the world. And also I was awarded the top 40 China YouTube channels in the world. And also uh, please subscribe, just press the button.